Hey everybody, Brett here at Pure Pursuit. Uh, we just got in another Corvette Stingray. Uh, these things are selling really quick, so we thought we'd grab another one for you. Uh, starting right in on this one, the 6.2 liter LT1 motor, uh, just like every other Stingray uh, that they've been making for the last year. Uh, excellent power plant. This one's made it to a seven speed manual transmission. Uh, great combination there. Go ahead and close this down. We'll swing around to the front here. Uh, as you know, I love the front end styling of these cars. They uh, really outdid themselves whenever they came out with the C7 Vets. Headlights, amazing. Front end, amazing. Hood, great. Um, really, you're not going to hear any complaints. This car is pretty much flawless. It's got almost no miles on it whatsoever. Uh, great cyber gray color. Um, pretty much. Uh, straight off the showroom floor basically and then somebody bought it and decided to trade it in so we stole it um, coming around here front wheels are 18 inch wheels we've got the uh, gray painted calipers I'll go ahead and close this side of the hood excellent stingray emblem there on the door or the side panel there with the uh, outlets for the air outlets Coming into the inside, you can check out, uh, you probably won't be able to see it for the interior features video, but uh, this car does have the WeatherTech floor mats. Coming around to the back here, we've got the 19 inch rear wheels, again the uh, painted calipers. And into the back area, uh, like I've said on the other videos that we've got of Corvettes, uh, there's actually some, uh, some room in here for storage. Uh, you're not going to be getting a family's load of groceries in there, but uh, you probably wouldn't be driving this car to go buy those anyway. Great redesign back into these cars. Uh, they've gone away from the round tail lights. Um, I've said it before and I'll say it again, the rear pan is amazing. And then the center dual exit exhaust for uh, both sides. Uh, this car is warmed up, so I'll go ahead and hop in it real quick, give you a quick rev so you've got a good idea of what it sounds like from the outside. Stepping right into it, uh, power locks, door release, power windows, and power mirrors. On the steering wheel, we've got the rev match for uh, synchronizing your RPMs. We've got the seven speed manual transmission on this car. Uh, on this side of the steering wheel, we've got cruise control. On the back, we've got audio controls. On this side, we've got Bluetooth and selector controls for the interior of the, uh, the dash system. So you can go in with the left side and change different info, performance, audio, phone, navigation, and settings. Um, to the right side, you can change from uh, US to metric uh, settings. And with the center, you can adjust so that your speedo gets smaller and you can change, you can look at uh, the different uh, gauges that are on the sides. You can set those. Uh, also set on speed warnings change your display theme for uh, dependent on the drive mode which uh, I'll go ahead and change through those we've got weather driving I just switched over to track sport touring and eco um, pretty full functionality there for the the digital cluster there in the middle uh, you do have the uh, speedometer that's a analog gauge as well as your fuel and your uh, water temperature gauges are analog. Uh, moving to the middle in this center console which I'm not sure you'll be able to really check it out with the camera uh, there's a 12 volt outlet as well as an auxiliary port and two USBs it also looks like an SD card in there as well. Uh, we've got two standard cup holders with another auxiliary port there um, I already mentioned the drive mode selector with traction control, parking brake. Uh, moving into the middle here, we've got all of our climate controls. And uh, on the uh, passenger side, 
you can see that there is uh, passenger climate controls over there as well. Um, center touch screen. Uh, this car does have OnStar navigation. It doesn't have the, the full navigation package, but uh, with OnStar there is navigation. Uh, you can go into the audio, telephone, or Pandora, OnStar, or settings screen. In the settings screen you can change the time and date, driving modes, which you can also do down here or in this main screen. Change your languages, set it in valet mode, set up radio settings, vehicle settings, Bluetooth and voice settings, display settings, rear camera, and then a reset, and then a basic software update uh, package thing there. Opening up the center screen, you can notice there's a little bit extra storage in there. You can put sunglasses or something small. There's also another USB port inside there. Um, this car is equipped with the Targa top, which can be pulled out and uh, removed for driving. Uh, pretty cool on nice moderate weather days. Uh, days like today, it's a little bit too warm, um, but uh, not for today's weather, but definitely fun whenever you have it off. Uh, that pretty much covers all of the interior features of this car. Uh, getting right into it, uh, seven speed manual transmission, turn off the electronic parking brake, put it in reverse and you see the uh, backup camera comes on with the predictive index that follows matching where you're steering. Uh, we'll go ahead and back out here now. You pretty much don't have to take my word for it. It seems like almost everybody is praising the seventh generation uh, Corvettes. Uh, GM really got it together this time. The interior is finally not garbage. They did a pretty good job with the redesign there. The exterior is amazing as well. Um, right now I'm in eco mode for driving, so I've got cylinder management technology as well. Uh, so not only do you have the uh, amazing power and handling of this car, uh, you can actually get some really good gas mileage as well. Uh, one of my favorite things about this is uh, they did an excellent job setting up the suspension and steering with the uh, C7s. And uh, steering is pretty much on point. It is very accurate and precise. Uh, right where you put the steering wheel and you think you're going to go, that's where you're going to go. Um, none of this point it and wish that happens with some of the other cars that uh, have extremely electronic assisted steering. Uh, so whenever you uh, decide that you're ready to go, it uh, you just point it and go. I'll go ahead and pull off to the side here and switch over to track mode for our full throttle run and come around this way and go ahead and do the full throttle. And give it a little bit of that uh, throttle blip from the rev match. Uh, super fun car to drive. It's got plenty of power. The uh, handling is great. Torque is fantastic, of course, because it's an American car and they always do that. Um, they never really had issues with uh, coming up with power on these things and uh, they certainly are capable of putting it down on the ground. So if you've got any questions about this car or any other car that we might have, or if you're interested in having us source you a car, give us a call, 816-659-3027, or send us an email at hello at purepursuitauto.com.